Hello and welcome to A Quest for Metal. Today we're going to be reviewing three new albums that came out recently and they are big releases. This is an amazing week for metal because there's so many good releases. There's so many that I haven't even talked about. Like there's God Dethroned with Illuminati, amazing album. Also The Spirit, Cosmic Terror, which is my favourite album so far this month. So wait until the end of the month, I'll do a, a big list of the top 10, but so far, The Spirit Cosmic Terror, if you've never heard of it, check it out. It's got a big eyeball, fucking awesome music. But today, today, we're checking out the three biggest releases this month. That's Delane with Apocalypse and Chill, Sepultura with Quadra, and Silosis with The Cycle of Suffering. So first up, let's get straight into the reviews. First up, we're gonna talk about Delane, Apocalypse and Chill. Now, before I dive deep into this really fun album, I'm gonna say it right now, it's a fun as fuck album. Let's just look at that album cover. Now, <laughs> the most disappointing thing with this album is the album cover. It's just, it's, what's going on? I understand, like, the lady, she's chilling, you know, there's an apocalypse happening behind her. It makes sense. Still a bit cheesy, but it makes sense. But the background just looks awful. It looks, it looks terrible. Like, everything's just stitched together. It's kind of like a Dance of Death by Maiden kind of album cover. Not a big fan of that. But, you know, album covers don't, don't break an album, you know? I'm not going to minus any points because of the album cover, all right? Music itself on the album, pretty fucking good. So let's talk about it. So as I said, really fun album. Each song is quite short, but it's punchy. If you've never heard of Delane, they're a symphonic metal band fronted by Charlotte, who's an amazing vocalist, like one of the best. One of the best vocalists working in metal. She just, she fucking just owns it every single time. And this album is no different. This album is another step in the right direction for Delane. So we start the album with One Second, which is a really fun, really fun and catchy chorus. I love the chorus in this song. It's also got male vocals complimenting her vocals as well, which I really love. At first when I was listening to this song, I kind of thought it was, J J is it Jacoby? Shaddix from Papa Roach. I really thought it was him. It sounded kind of similar. It really sounded like Within Temptations, one of their newer songs, The Reckoning. It had that kind of, kind of, uh, not trancey, but kind of dancey feel in the background. A lot of these songs. This album by Delane sounds quite similar to Amaranth in a lot of different sections with the kind of dancey pop-ish kind of elements to some of the songs, which is not a bad thing. It, for this kind of metal, it's actually a good thing because the hooks get in your head, the beats get in your head, and the chorus, the chorus lines, they stick in your head as well. So I think bordering on the poppy kind of stuff, kind of like Amaranth does, is not a bad thing for this album. I think it helps it tremendously. One of my favorite songs off this is one of the singles, Burning Bridges, an amazing song with one of the catchiest choruses you can find this year. And just the part when she's like, I'm not gonna do it because I can't sing, but she's like burning bridges down. And it's just like, holy shit, my head's about to explode. Those vocals on her, ha! Oh. <laughs> too good, too bloody good. This is a fantastic song from the album. It's really heavy as well. The riffs in it, pretty chunky, pretty meaty and pretty heavy. Another song on this album, which I love, and is one of the songs I reacted to ages ago, Masters of Destiny, is just so quiet and calming and beautiful, is the right word for that song? Beautiful. And I absolutely adore this song. I mean, you can see my reaction to it ages ago when it was a reaction channel, and yeah, it blew me away. Her vocals blew me away. Didn't feel like the same Delane as I heard years ago. I've seen them live and they were fantastic, but this feels new, feels fresh, feels unique, and I absolutely love it. Now, let's talk about my absolute favourite song on the album. It <laughs> just so happens to be the one without any vocals in, which is not, I, you know, I love her vocals. But Combustion, the final track, what the fuck? It sounded like Dream Theater. It sound like, it, if you want a fucking mental instrumental, a mental instrumental, Check out Combustion, because it just floors you. It's got these kind of genty feeling parts to it. The riffs are heavy. The solos are amazing and beautiful. The melody is just on point. This is like a six minute song as well. It's a perfect way to close the album. 
you have all these punchy, poppy, really, you know, amazingly sung songs throughout the album, keeps it up, doesn't get boring, and at the end, you treat it with a nice instrumental, which just has the most amazing musicianship in. So I think it's a perfect closer. It's a perfect closer, and again, the opening song is fantastic. If you hear rain, there's a storm happening. You might have heard on the news, but fuck off. But yeah, the album as a whole ends strong, begins strong. In the middle is fun as hell. So this is going to be a high score because I can't have... I don't have anything bad to say. There's nothing bad to say about this album. If you like symphonic metal, go out and buy this album. Go out and support them because they're fantastic. And this album is fantastic. Another fantastic release by Delane. It's, it's not my favourite, I still prefer Lucidity, but this one is just an amazing album, complementing the rest of the discography. So yeah, do yourself a favour and check out Apocalypse and Chill. I'm going to give this a fun out of 10. Alright, score-wise, score-wise, this is hard, this is hard. Uh, 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out, I'm going strong, I'm going hard with this one. This is an 8.5 out of 10. Didn't disappoint. You like this kind of music. This is going to be right up your alley. Next up, let's talk about an amazing release. One that I've been super looking forward to. And that is Psylosis, The Cycle of Suffering. Psylosis is one of the first bands I saw live. One of the first bands I moshed to. So I've got some... I've got some nostalgia with this band. Um, I love everything they've done. I love everything they've done. Like, there's no bad song by Psylosis. And this album, it didn't disappoint me. I had high expectations. They've been gone a while. Really high expectations, actually. And it didn't disappoint. It actually met them and surpassed some of my expectations. So already, before I started talking about the songs or the structure of the album, you know it's going to be high. You know it's going to be high, but we'll leave that to the end rather than getting excited. And let's talk about the album as a whole. So the cycle of suffering has everything you need in a, I'm not too sure what the genre is, melodic death metal slash progressive slash gen slash literally whatever, metalcore slash everything? This, I don't know how to uh, describe this band, but they mix, they mix a lot of genres together. They really do. So you just have to listen to them to kind of get a grasp of what they are. Now the first two singles that came out blew my socks off. They blew my socks right off. I Sever was just such a unique song for them. It didn't feel like a Silosis song. It had like, it had pauses at the right times. It was very progressive. It's quite long. It was like six minutes. It's like, I Sever, I Sever. The guitar melody in it, absolutely fantastic. Vocals, out of this world. And just the groove of it, the groove of it kept me just, oh, kept me on edge. Kept me on edge. I loved every second of I Sever. And the second single, Calcified, has to be my favourite song this year that I've heard. Easily. No, like, easily my favourite song of this year. Like, I know it's only February, but I've heard quite a lot of albums already. This blows all them out of the fucking water. I don't even care. This, Calcified, it sounds like Gojira. Am I the only one who thinks that? Calcified sounds like the kind of evolving, not copying, they're evolving the musical sound. And it just how heavy and how the riffs hit. The, the, the sound design on this album is crisp and just fucking fantastic. This song especially, Calcifying. It just feels like a Gojira song. And they're one of my favourite bands of all time. So you know I love it. I love it. Calcified is a classic. It's a classic Silas song now for me. And Ice Ever again is another one. Right, so the album... Cycle of Suffering opens up with Empty Profits, and it just kicks you right in the face. It kicks you right in the face straight away. It's fast. It's thrashy. It's just, like, argh, right there. It's flashing at you. You, you kind of, you, you don't really want to look away. You kind of disturbed, but you don't really want to look away. That's what the opening to this album feels like. It's, it's just a full frontal assault on all your senses. That's what it's like. Super thrashy, super fun, amazing start to the album. Then after I Sever, you got songs like Shield, which is another highlight on the album. Really cool riffage. I know that's probably not a word, but I'm going to coin it 
really cool riffage in this song, really interesting ideas, and I love the chorus. Again, I'm going to say that for a lot of these songs, but I love the fucking chorus. This album just doesn't disappoint you. It doesn't feel too long. It doesn't kind of overstay its welcome. Everything has its place. It's just a fantastic listen, front to back, no bad songs. There's also some really interesting songs, kind of like the I Sever one, which is a really interesting song and doesn't quite sound like Silosis being themselves. It sounds like them branching off doing something new and interesting and different. The same goes for the final song on the album, Abandoned, which I absolutely adore. And is it just me or does the intro, which is so sombre, so cool and kind of eases you into the song, doesn't it kind of sound like Minecraft? You know, the, <laughs> you listen to it now, and it kind of sounds like Minecraft music. Like, ding, ding, ding. That kind of soft, you trying to build a mud hut, and then the zombies trying to attack you. It feels like that. But being stupid aside, I love how slow and methodical this song is. I love how different it is to the rest of the fucking songs. And I just love when you have songs like that at the end. Just like Delane's one, when there's a song at the end which is completely stark different to all the other songs, it just makes the entire thing more palpable, if you know what I mean. You can't just have a fast, thrashy song as the end song. I don't think it works. I'm glad it starts off really fast, thrashy, more melodic in the middle, more thrashy, more melodic, and then at the end it kind of slows down. I love when bands do that, and Abandon is just a... Just a pearl of a song, a pearl of a song, and this album is one of my favourites of the year. It's one of my favourites of the year. I reckon this is going to go on my end of the year list. This and Cosmic Terror, they're going to go on the end of the year list. I'm I'm certain of it. If, it. if it doesn't, I'll eat my shoes on camera. So, quote me for that. Quote me for that. <laughs> but yeah, magnificent album by Silosis. If you love melodic... If you love just thrashy, kind of, it's melodic, melodic death thrash prog, <laughs> sure. But the album's a 9.5. The album is a 9.5, almost a 10. But I don't like giving out 10s if it's not fucking perfect. And this is an amazing album, but I wouldn't say it's a 10, you know? Next up, finally, we have a new Sepultura album with Quadra. Now some background. I am not the biggest Sepultura fan. In fact, I didn't really like them. I'm not... So this, this you, you're gonna hate, you're gonna dislike it already, but... Yeah, I wasn't really big into them. I listened to a couple of songs. I listened to some Roots songs. I listened to some songs after Roots. Didn't do it for me. I didn't really grab it. Roots Bloody Roots is a fun song, but everything else kind of just... Brrr. Not my kind of thing. This this kind of groove metal kind of tribal shit doesn't tickle my fancy, to be honest. So when I saw that they had a new album coming out and everyone calls them like these giants of heavy metal, I'm always kind of like, eh, eh. Then someone in the comments was like, you got to listen to the older stuff. You listen to the older stuff, you'll actually start liking the band. I listened to Beneath the Remains, and it was actually fucking amazing. Beneath the Remains was fucking amazing. Chaos AD, really cool. And then Arise, a really cool album as well. So yeah, I went back to the discography, and the older stuff I, I really enjoyed. And it surprised me because I just kind of passed the band off. I was like, not really for me. Don't get the fuss. Don't see the fuss about this band. Listen to their older stuff, got me in. So that's where I am today. So if I'm harsh on it, that's why. But this album surprised me because it was actually engaging. It was actually fun. But it's not a masterpiece like people are saying. I don't think it's a masterpiece. Um, I do love what they're doing with it. But there's just parts of this album I just can't, I just don't like. There's parts of this album I don't like, okay? Uh, I'm not going to lie to people. The middle section of this album, I do not like. I don't care for it. And I know that they're dealing with it, it's Quadro, they've got four different styles of music and it's really interesting what they're doing with the album and it's unique and for creativity, 10 out of 10. For listenability, I'll give you my uh, score at the end. So, first up, let's talk about some of the songs on the album. So as I said, it's split into kind of like four, hence the title Quadra. And the first quarter, 
is a 10 out of fucking 10. The first quarter, the three songs, the, the, the first three songs just kick you in the balls. And then it just is a high octane, intense, thrashy ride, just like Beneath the Remains, just like all those old albums. It's just a great time. Those first three songs are fucking fantastic. I love them. Like, actually love them. Isolation just has that riff in it, which you just can't help but fucking headbang and break your neck to. It's, it's amazing. It's, it's metal. It's metal as fuck. True metal. And so's means to an end and last time. All of them. Fantastic song. If you want old Sepultura, you want thrashy, you want intense, you want kind of death, bordering on death metal. It's not quite death metal, but borders on it. Yeah, you you'll enjoy the first quarter of this album, and also the the. <laughs> this is hard to say. The third, free the third quarter. Yeah, the third quarter you'll enjoy as well because it kind of does the same thing. But we're gonna stick with the first quarter. Thrashy, fun, intense. Love it. Love it. Right, this is where the problems start to arise. The second quarter, it it has the newer Sepultura sound, which I'm not a big fan of. I've told you I don't like it. So these next two, three songs, don't do anything for me. They don't do anything for me. There's some cool ideas, some cool riffs, but then the kind of... It just... I don't care. I do not like it at all like the songs just don't grab me there's parts of the song which kind of jump out and i'm like that's fucking heavy as hell and then it goes back to the tribal nonsense and i just don't care next the next couple of songs are really good again this is a bipolar album i love some songs i hate some songs and it's all in the sections so the, the second section i don't like first section i love third section i love it's 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 just the way it is. It's the way this album is. Guardians of Earth is a one of the best songs on the album. Not gonna lie, one of the best songs on the album. It's just how kind of I don't wanna say proggy, but you know how many different sections are in this song. Guardians of the Earth is a bloody banger of a song. Absolutely adore it. And then Pentagram, which is an instrumental, is just fucking sick as well. I love it. So there's just so many. I, I'm so conflicted. I am conflicted. This album com this album confuses me. I love parts. I hate parts. So the score's not going to be as high as the other two albums I was talking about. It's not. It's not going to be because personal enjoyment. Some people consider these the best heavy metal band ever. Fair enough. You're entitled to your opinion. I think they're pretty good. Their older stuff is amazing. Newer stuff, don't care for. And this is a mixture of the two, so I'm glad they're kind of doing it. I appreciate the effort, but for personally, for me, the album as a whole, it lacks. It lacks, and it's probably going to get a 6 out of 10. I didn't hate it. It's not getting a 5 out of 10. It's not average. It's a bit above average, actually. Some of the songs that I do like, I really like. But the songs that I don't like, I really don't like. So... 6 out of 10 is is where it's going to be, which is probably going to piss a lot of Sepultura fans off, but I'm not a Sepultura fan. But, yeah, Quadra, for me, is a 6 out of 10. It's a fine album. I'll, I'll put it on. Some great parts, some shit parts. Altogether, it feels disjointed, doesn't quite work. I would, pref I would much prefer an entire album of the death metal stuff Fresh metal stuff. I would much prefer an entire album of the groove metal stuff because even then, I'm not a big fan of the groove metal stuff. At least it's coherent. At least it sticks to just that the entire way through, which is I would prefer. Like I prefer the Roots album to this one, and I'm not a big fan of that, but I still prefer it to this one because it keeps the same kind of feeling throughout the album. Whereas this one just is up and down, up and down, and it just kind of hurts my head. So. Disappointing for some people. I know Banger TV gave it a good score, but you know, Papa Dunn, he he uh, he's a big Sepultura fan, so it makes sense. But for me, mm, not not uh, not the best, not the best. So six out of ten. So let me know in the comments what did you think about these albums? Did you love Sepultura's one? Did you hate Delane's one? Tell me in the comments below because it's always interesting to see people's opinions. I don't hate on people for opinions, you know. And if you do, you just get deleted. So be my guest. 
Also tell me what your favourite songs are from each of these albums. Let me know in the comments below and we'll see you again on another Quest for Metal.